Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, my dearest Capricorn friends. I had to tell you this and for many others that, you know, there is changes that are going on. I'm sure many people are feeling it. And I pray that they feel it for the better simply because better is coming, especially in the instance of you having put in the work over the last 10 to 18 years, um, being um, seeds of good and love and peace in the midst of chaotic situations. This Gemini um, North Node or the Gemini Eclipse is coming in. And I was talking to my class last night about Gemini. It's so important because 12 years ago, Gemini was in the South. And so um, during that South Node of Gemini, um, 2012, 2013, what was happening is we were learning some things. And I feel the energy. That's why I came on to say this for Capricorns that have Gemini North Node um, and Sagittarius South, everything shifted. And I did discuss this in my Gemini class back when um, the North Node came in in May. Um, my point of coming on and encouraging Capricorns is, is that um, this is a shift in energy that many of us will feel. Now, many of us are going to feel it, but Capricorn is going to feel it because of that stellium. Um, you got that big team player Capricorn thing going on, Capricorn, Scorpio, and um, Jupiter. And so because of that, Capricorn is gonna feel the energy of that shift. Now, you will know because there's a lifting of energy that had been heavy on us. Um, that means that that eclipse is already working and it's showing you some things to come. It's showing you where you need to go, where you need to be, and it's even urging you, it's um, encouraging you. It's communicating in a way where you may have found yourself learning how to write back 12 years ago, for instance, because Gemini is a communication energy. Um, the communication could be coming in all different forms, technology, um, internet. It can be coming in forms that um, you used back then, but you did not keep them. And that was the problem for a lot of people. They embarked upon things that they didn't seem to keep. Well, you did keep it. It's in your psyche. It's in your consciousness. But it's time for you to use that information, that technology, whatever you've got in 2012, 2013, it's time for you to use it. How do you use it from an emotional standpoint? If it was negative, you want to turn it around, you know, to positive. Whatever you experienced in 2012 or 13, you want to show yourself in a steady mode where you communicate effectively because Jupiter was in, um, the North Node at that time, and Jupiter was helping us to learn some stuff. Even if we don't even remember, what did you learn? Um, if people were doing things underhandedly, what did you learn about it, and did you communicate effectively? This is just e examples. And yes, I'm driving, but I'm paying attention to the street, and I'm paying attention to what I'm saying because it's so important that you don't miss this. A lot of people overlook lessons. I was talking to my son yesterday because, you know, he was saying that he felt like he needed parenting classes. Well, I feel like if you need parenting classes, then you get them. But one of the main things I think as parents we need to encourage our children is to learn what they don't know. What don't we know as parents? In most cases, we don't know the spiritual components. We have all went to church, but we did not always find the spiritual ingredients that we needed to shift the consciousness of our children. And this is a communication that can change the generation's behavior, spirituality, getting down into the roots. That is a different method. All right. And so if you hear what I'm saying, the changes that we're embarking upon is totally different. What we're going to do and use how um, is going to be totally different because Gemini is about communication. And that means that the way that you did it before is not the way you're going to do it now. If you do it the way you did before, 
you could be in a position of limiting yourself and putting yourself in a position of unhealthy um, thoughts, uh, unhealthy relationships because of you holding on to possible toxic um, ways of doing things or thinking and saying, all right, you get the point. So back to my son and the parenting class. I told him, if you, if you, if you want to get parenting, make sure that you always begin with a lesson. Parenting as it was um, years ago and in our society, we have to take accountability to change it. Why? Because we see society wants to stay the same. Your child needs to know that when they come into this world, that there is a lesson that they need to learn. Not just how to get rich. Money is okay. But that is the way of the world. And that's why we have so many people in poverty because no one has taken um, up the idea of teaching your children behavior lessons. We all have dysfunction. Why would we overlook that to go to work and make money and keep that imposition of life in us when it does not bring success? So many people right now are suffering because they don't know how to communicate with their families. They want a family, but they don't know how to communicate effectively. They blame people because they don't know how to take responsibility. These are lessons. And from a person, I call myself the behaviorist, from a person that looks at those things, I find a lot of people run from it because they don't want to be accountable. That's cool if you don't, but I do. I really embrace the idea of what I came into this world to do. And so what I am going to say to you right now is um, I do work with therapists and I also work with coaches. If you find yourself or your family in a position of needing any of this, you want to change your life because life is not going to change with you sitting on the sideline. Life is going to change with you getting involved with your life, as I told my son. Lessons. When they come with a problem, be a problem solver. Teach the lesson so that they can get the solution rather than keeping the problem, because the world has problems. And no one is interested in solving the problem, but the people who have given us problems. Now, I take accountability for myself because I didn't just come into this world to be a problem. I looked at my problems, and I continue to work at them. I have problems. But I continue to look at my problems as a lesson for me from the universe. And because I look at them, I get solutions. I even look at people and I see their behaviors. But I'm not trying to change them. Because no one will change anything about themselves until they come to the awakening point of something is wrong and not wrong with everyone else. I hear people talking. When something is wrong with everybody, but they don't take up to look at themselves. They talk about talk that they hear, but they don't walk the walk of that talk becoming one with them. So don't let yourself or your children get caught up any longer in the matrix. Let's just say that. I don't want to be a cliche type of person, but I'm just going to say it. Be that person that brings value to life, and makes changes in this time and in this, this world. As we are changing, the world will change for the better. As we stay the same, the world will be as it is. Why? Because really, the ones that we have been programmed through, they don't want us to change because we'll get too smart about what's happening. When you get a balance on financial and material, spiritual and behavior, your emotions are a part of that, you're going to be successful. If you have no balance, you will not be successful in life completely. So many people determine life after um, what they acquire. But uh, again, I've said in, in videos and in, in my classes, what was the purpose of you acquiring anything if you cannot maintain your own self, such as, you know, your sobriety, 
um, if you are codependent, uh, if you need somebody to sleep at night, if you need your door uh, to your bedroom lock uh, to sleep at night, if you have fears, why aren't you researching yourself to find out why? Why would you live with that? And then why would you exhaust those behaviors onto someone else? You know that it's wrong. And if you don't know, I pray that God convict you about it. Because we all need to be responsible for the way that we behave towards others. That's why the world is in this shape. No one's ego is to be superior over anyone else's. You got a big ego. Other people have big e egos as well, but they learn how to be balanced and master that ego where other people aren't hurt because you know when you hurt people eventually one day what's going to happen is you're going to be alone i'll say it over and over again people will get tired of you saying talking and being any way that you want to towards them and they will say you know what it's something better there's a better mother there's a better father i look for something else because this is not conducive you know and so if you get the point that I'm giving, communicate effectively. You won't get triggers from others. You won't get um, reactions from others when you communicate effectively. North Node and Gemini, the eclipse is cutting off those things. And it's also cutting off the areas and times when people just took mess from other people, mess. You talk to people anyway. And then you have people that actually were just quiet. They didn't say anything. It's not because you had power over them. It was because they were trying to change their lives. They didn't want to get caught up in the mess, messy communication, the toxic information that was going on. They didn't want to do it. They were training themselves back in 2012 when the South Node was in. You see? So now, think about what I'm saying. You can get involved in the classes um, that we have. You can go to uh, www.wealthyliving.org um, and just look at what we have going on. We're still creating and you know building. Uh, we have support groups for uh, people, men and women together. Uh, we also um, do spiritual classes and executive coaching classes where people are you know transitioning into new careers. Um, you can email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com. If you need a therapist, let me know. Uh, and if you need a coach, we have coaches. So you guys be blessed and think about your communication. I am, none of us are perfect, but the one thing is, is that if we can understand each other and know that we are a support system rather than someone that is tearing each other down, we'll get along a lot better. Sometimes our anger is not for the individuals that we're talking to, but we feel it. Sometimes the way that we represent is not the way that we mean to, but we can say, this is not about you. Forgive me. The ego doesn't want to do that. I get it, but I do. I, I want to say, I don't want to hurt you. This is not the right time. You're not talking to me the way that I want you to talk to me because I want you to respect me like I respect you. These are things that we can look at. Do I talk in a respectful way to people around me, in my family, professionally? Am I controlling individual? Because that's out the door. People do not want you trying to fix them, especially when you're not fixed. People actually want to fix themselves. That's why I told my son, teach your children about life lessons. Don't get caught up in just going to work. That is a social issue that we have. To overcome it, you identify it. If they're not doing their chores, sit down and get the lesson. If they're behaving differently, pinpoint the behavior. But also, as parents, don't expect more from your children than you give. We are role models. Fathers and mothers communicate what, they, what they've been seeing from their parents and they give it to their children. It's possible that we can change some things. 
we can change emotional um, intelligence by looking at our emotions and not being um, in a mindset where we, you know, we feel like if we show our emotions, we're sissies. That is some information that people gave us. When you clear yourself emotionally after crying, you feel better. The one that does not want to cry is going to cry anyway, even if it's in secret. So what's wrong with you crying? Nobody going to treat you bad. That's, that's a fallacy of the old time. And I don't care about, you know, people crying because I cry. The thing is, learn from what has made you cry. And if you're crying for others, then you've tapped into the possibilities of empath, right? So anyway, I want to stay right here with Capricorns and um, the Gemini North Node Eclipse. Lessons. Teach your children like life does because the universe is giving us lessons. The trees, you know, they're blowing because the wind is there. What is the communication between the wind and the trees? Is it thank you for airing me out? Or is it thank you because it's fall, I'm going to drop some leaves? You see, you got to think beyond yourself because people don't teach us that we need to think beyond ourselves. That is a lesson. We have to think for the other person. Even when you're driving, we get in road rage because they're driving a certain way and it's not the way that I drive. The mental communication to the heart, all about communication. So you guys, again, be blessed and you know, email us. I will put the information in um, the description box. Uh, email us, become a part, and get to a place of truth because we're going into a new age. And the reason why Again, things are not working is because we're going into a new age. It's about freedom. Aquarius. And for those that don't want to embrace the stars, well, guess what? You'll be stuck in knowledge that you had from the past because the wise men followed the stars for a reason. And it wasn't just to get Jesus. It was because the Christ was in Jesus. The other part is, is that Jesus was leading the people to the way. What is the way? Yeah, what is the way really? And the way was showing us to spirit. So there's no other way that you can get information unless you are following in, yes, theology, psychology, and astrology. They all lead you to changes in yourself. The integration of those three aspects will make a world of difference in your family, your city, your state, and your community, the people. They said, we, the people, for the people, you guys better understand who is for you because no one will do it for you. You have to do it for yourself. And this is the concept of what Jesus was saying. He never told you that he was going to the cross for you. He went to show you the way. Cross out error. What is not productive in your life, let the lesson show you that. And then you cross over into the new part of your life, which is the Jordan. Embrace it. And that is the final call of my video today. Embracing the energy. Bury the past. Because we feel it. It's a new you arising. Embrace it and let it be so. Pay attention to everything that you do and let balance be key in your life. Blessings 